Shalom, shalom. We are beginning the series of the Rebbe, the Messiah, and the Orthodox Indifference, and why should we care? An interesting book that came out called The Messiah of Brooklyn by M. Avram Ehrlich specifically says very, something very interesting. The challenges presented by the movement to the conventional understanding of Judaism, Orthodoxy, outreach, conversion, and many other aspects of contemporary religious life in the United States and around the world makes it an important part of the modern religious scene. The development of opposition to the movement, especially as a consequence of its growing and increasing vocal messianist faction, has led to what might become one of the most significant challenges to Judaism since the messianic stirring surrounding Shabbatai Tzvi. In his book, the author says that as part of his work, could be perhaps be seen as the most Josophian attempt to record the fascinating beginning of what might prove to be a new sectarian breakaway from Judaism on the par with the origins of Christianity. That's in the book The Messiah of Brooklyn. Interesting enough, many other authors have expressed the same sentiments regarding this particular issue. In the book that Rabbi David Berger wrote, which was the cause to create an amendment in the RCA, he writes specifically of this incredible uh, danger of the direction in which Chabad is, Chabad Lubavitch and the Messianic movement of Chabad Schneersonism is moving towards. And this series of videos that I have presented and will begin to be presented has been done and is being done because I've seen it taking place in many areas and in many of the life even affecting my own children and uh, this is the reason why I'm doing this video in particular so that at least my children will have a, a an alternative viewpoint um, instead of the one that they're being bombarded with at school. Now one of the things that we begin to look at according to Rabbi Berger is this danger of creating the idea that the Messiah has already come and it's the Lubavitcher Rebbe. Whenever you hear any of the Chabad rabbis say to you that we must follow the Moshe Rabbeinu of our current generation and lead him, this is an in, in inference to the Lubavitcher Rebbe. Obviously he is not the Moshe Rabbeinu of our generation and we, there are many who are of an opinion that he was in fact the Moshe Rabbeinu of our generation. Just the opposite, the Moshe Rabbeinu of our generation uh, should have and would have Paskin. He never Paskin, uh, the Babachev never Paskin anything, and that is a very known fact. One of the things I will be recommending all of the viewers uh, on this video is to acquire the book that was written by uh, Rabbi David Berger. And even though I'm going to touch certain points of the book, I will not infringe on the copyrights of the author, but except to say that I encourage you to acquire the book by Rabbi David Berger, the Rebbe, the, the Messiah, and the, and the scandal of the Orthodox indifference. And the reason for this is because the the proposition in which he presented was on based on two legitimate options within Orthodox Judaism. And this is in his introduction in his book, and I think he well writes this, and uh, it should be very voiced out. First proposition is a specific descendant of King David may be identified with a certainty as a Messiah, even though he died in an unredeemed world, very similar to the Christian motif. The criteria always deemed necessary for a confident identification of the Messiah, the temporal redemption of the Jewish people, uh, a rebuilt temple and peace and prosperity and the universal recognition of God of Israel are null and void. Number two, the Messianic faith of Judaism allows for the following scenario. God will finally send the true Messiah to embark upon his redemptive mission. Uh, mission. The long-awaited Redeemer will declare that all preparations for the redemption has been completed and announce without qualification that the fulfillment is absolutely imminent. He will begin the process of gathering the dispersed of Israel to the Holy Land. He will proclaim himself a prophet, point clearly to his messianic status, and declare that the only remaining task is to greet him as Messiah. And then he will die and then be buried without having redeemed the world, nor gathered Israel back to its land. To put the matter more succinctly, the true Messiah redemptive mission, publicly proclaimed and vigorously pursued, will be interrupted by death and burial, and then consummated by a second coming and or appearance. This is exactly what the movement of Chabad is now pushing as a result of the inability to accept the death 
and burial of the Lubavitcher uh, Rebbe in 1994 in Gimel Thomas. Now, while the author here uh, is very uh, known in the area of Judaism, he is also well equipped and expertise in the area of Jewish-Christian debate, and uh, that in, in, in essence understands the the big crisis that we face. We will continue this video on this video number two where we will introduce the ideas of the heroism to heterodoxy, the crisis of a movement, and the danger to the faith. Watch our second video. Shalom.